All right, guys. So we're gonna be doing a reaction of Ric Flair walking out of the Kill Tony podcast. We lost Ric Flair, everybody. I love you, Rick. Uh, for those that don't know what Kill Tony is, Kill Tony is just a show, a podcast that that gets people who are amateur stand-up comedians. They go for about a minute or so. Your first comedian out of the bucket, that means anything can happen. We're going to meet this person all together. Make some noise. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Daniel Shepard, everybody. Daniel Shepard, our first bucket pull of the night. Tony Hinchcliffe here, the guy who's like really red. This guy... He usually just criticizes their material, gives them some advice, and also gives them a chance to become much bigger stars in the future. You know, Tony's a huge wrestling fan, and he invites Ric Flair, the nature boy, to his show to just have some fun, I guess. I'm guessing Tony didn't tell Ric Flair anything about the show. Apparently, they said that they were having so much fun, they were drinking and doing... Oh, Whole bunch of drinking <laughs> rick said take me out in austin let's have some fun he did. and Holy shit. uh i i don't think i've had a vodka cranberry in about 20 years but i said i'll have what he's having and i do believe we had about 17 vodka cranberries last night yeah we did and he was able to get rick there right to do it but unfortunately he forgot to tell rick flair what the show was going to be about so he didn't know anything about the show and he came off very weird he didn't seem to fit in into that circle there and it, it had a whole bunch of other different comedians like arig shane gillis mark norman uh louis j gomez uh zach amico Whole bunch of comedians right in one place and it's also very complicated too when you have all these different uh people in the same place trying to get their own jokes in so you know rick flair also has to get acknowledged too at times and they ask rick flair about certain things but he doesn't seem to be very much entertained or he doesn't seem very enthusiastic about being there in the first place let's go through the video on where he eventually walks out for certain reasons right first clip here i'm going to show you is rick flair being introduced by tony hinchcliffe hinchcliffe is a a very big wrestling fan he gives him a really good introduction in the band does his wwe or wdf theme song quite amazing intro i present to you the 16 time champion of the world ladies and gentlemen this is the nature boy, Ric Flair! So yeah, he gives him a really nice, beautiful introduction there. Let's skip on to the best bits here. So here's the first thing that happens, okay? Uh, Hans Kim, the guy on the with the Hawaiian t-shirt, does his stand-up routine. Doesn't really get any good laughs. Tony Hinchcliffe says it's kind of rough and asks uh, Rick, hey, um, what do you think about his stand-up? And this is what uh, Rick says. Do you have any words of advice? You, you're, you're the goat. You've had a rough night of work before, right? <laughs> I have, but I'm, I'm not that rough. <laughs> 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 Hans. Well, he actually just cracks a little a joke, but then he kind of apologizes after. You're in the position. Who do you think you're going to get challenged by next I, week? I apologize, sir. <laughs> no, you don't have to apologize <laughs> on this show. You're We're not a POW camp. You don't have to that, come, that's sir. the person. <laughs> Woo! It, it, this is kind of like the beginning of what the tone is gonna be later on in the night. He says like right in the end, like it's nothing personal. It's nothing sir. personal. <laughs> the the point of the show was to make fun of people and right off the bat like he makes fun of somebody and uh, he apologizes which is kind of like why it doesn't make any sense right now let's get to another timestamp here so here's L lewis j gomez he starts to kind of heckle rick flair matter jesus christ dude stop <laughs> groveling dude stand up for yourself spin this face if rick flair respects that shit whoa <laughs> I consider myself the ruckiest man. <laughs> I think Ric Flair gets annoyed by Lewis here and Zach because those two start to kind of heckle him, start to roast him. 
Let's skip to another timestamp. This is where Ric Flair starts to look at his phone. So he starts to kind of look a little uninterested about being there in the show now. Maybe he's also a couple beers deep in too. So, you know, ADHD kicks in and he's just part of the audience now, right? Illegal immigrants. Was he your boring set? If you watch the show. <laughs> there yeah. you see Rick on the phone. I know, I know it was a reputation. I know it wasn't you because <laughs> whoever did it could kill. <laughs> hey. So you see Rick there. He's on his phone there. And then now we get to the another timestamp where everybody starts to notice that Rick is on his phone. So here, here's what everybody knows is that Rick's on his phone. Daniel, what would we have to do to convince you to stop doing stand-up comedy here tonight? <sighs> How do we turn this into a retirement party for you? Because this is... It's, it's a real no... retirement, not like some people. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't... Your players are sweet. Yeah, yeah, everybody starts roasting him. Like, Zach is probably, like, the first one here. The, uh, the counterfeit Chris Farley here. Did he fall asleep? <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't know. No, he's sorry, on yeah. his phone. <laughs> he's on his phone. Okay. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's like fun Norman Joe Biden. Biden. He's, he's, <laughs> he's like Norman right there with another joke. Another. He does look like Joe Biden, honestly, looking down. <laughs> Knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> he's scrolling... It's literally... He's scrolling the Breitbart app. <laughs> I'm Geezers these days on their phone, am I right, guys? Shut up, Daniel. <laughs> you're, not, you're not part of this thing. Uh, we just saw one of the worst uh, performances ever in the history of the show. Uh, Ric Flair, any that's advice for Daniel Shepard? Oh, God, that's Ric Flair! God damn it! Fuck! God. Oh, my God. That guy's so annoying, honestly. Just ki like, is that, a, is that supposed to be a joke? Like, you did not notice that as Ric Flair. Did you really think that's the president of the U.S. right there with all these freaking idiots? Uh, well, like, you would have done good if you knew. <laughs> no. That would have done worse. God damn it. What did he say? What, you think that was your dead aunt? He said that. that there's, <laughs> there's something kinky about all your heroes you diminishing you, though, you know? I mean... Uh, kind of hot, I'm though, getting right? off on this. <laughs> yeah, this I get it. Cool. Thank you. No, you're, you're, a, you're, you're, not really. you're incredible. Thank you. But, uh, you know, I suspect that Rick actually did hear the other guys roasting him and it, he was just kind of like playing it off. Because then he just, then after this, he, he starts to like lay down the ground rules. Like, I'm just here to be nice and not to waste people's time. And so here's what he says about that. Hey, guys, guys. Woo! I didn't even mean guys. to say woo that first time. Guys, I'm guys, just inspired. Shut up, up Whoa. Daniel. Whoa. I want people to understand something. I'm here having fun, but as long as it's fun, it's fun. When it becomes um, something that I'm not comfortable with and saying something bad, I don't do that. And the minute it goes that way, I'm out of here. Like so, sideways Asian no, no. pussy. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. That's fun. That's yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. That was my chance to be humorous. But I will never, ever embarrass anybody or humiliate anybody. The minute that happens on this show, I'm out of here. You're not going to do that. We're going to no, do that. No. So that is what the show is about, is to make fun of people. And he's like, I'm not going to make fun of nobody. Why are you on this show, Rick? No, oh, no, yeah. you're the good no, cop. No, no, no. Daniel you know, just embarrassed himself. I'm not, I, I'm not the good cop. I respect these people. You guys get it? <laughs> you shouldn't. You have paid my. You have paid. You have made me who I am today. I'm not Thank here you. to anybody up. I laugh. The minute one, someone says something disrespectful to me or to you, I'm out of here. We're not going to be disrespectful to you. We will make fun of these people no, no, that sign up for the no, show. No, I'm serious. No, we, we make you, fun you, of them. No, that's you guys are so nice. Oh, uh, Tony's like, no, that's what we do here. We make fun of people here. And Rick's like, no, no, not today. We're not going to be doing none of that today here. Look, at, the look at me. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Why can't you accept the word you're <laughs> nice people? Yeah, you know what? It's not 
Do you know how many people are bullied and hurt by comments? <laughs> no. Like, it's, everybody's there like, you serious, bro? We work on the internet. We do a lot of stuff online. Even I'm like, yeah, Rick, um, you might be new to this internet stuff, but everybody reads their comments, okay? It's rough. You get it? It's like a... Social media has made the world crazy. <laughs> I should, I, maybe I should have sent, I, I probably should have sent you an episode to watch before uh, yeah. <laughs> we make fun of people. Thank you, Rick Blair. You it's really good. Saved well, me there. I don't, I don't make fun of people. You don't have and, to. And it, He's uh, like, Rick is like, I'm no, I'm not a comedian. I'm a wrestler, a retired wrestler. Okay, I don't do jokes here. Okay, buddy, I slam people. Well, I mean, I used to slam people, but yeah. I'm ready to leave in that one minute, guys. No, don't so leave. Like you go. Don't leave, Rick. No, don't leave. No, hang on. I'm ready to leave in that one minute, guys. No, he's, don't leave. Yeah, like he's ready to leave. He's ready to leave. He's giving everybody an ultimatum here. Like, I'm turning this whole show around, all right? Don't leave, Rick. No, don't leave. No, hang on. You know why? No. I'm uncomfortable with the format. I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> no, come it's on, Rick. So he's like, he's gassed. He's like, what? I appreciate the, appreciate the, appreciate the. <laughs> I'll never, ever. Yo, you did so bad, Rick Flair. Damn, dude. Oh, my God. Damn. Nice go, Hey, hey, hey. There, hey, there, there, this is, there a fever is dream. no humor in the world that makes fun of people. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, you're on one, buddy. <laughs> Guess what? I, I apologize. I'm not one of them. No, you're good. You don't have to. No, I'm not apologizing. I'm, I'm not an unusually play. horrible I will, I man. will have fun, but I won't make fun. Beautiful. Well, we got you covered. We've had this happen before. It's good cop, bad cop. You're the good cop. We're, we're going to skip to the part where he's uh, almost about to leave here. The uh, uh, Luis J. Gomez telling Rick to tell people a story because the next comedian that that comes up is also really bad Louis j gomez tells him hey like tell us a story rick he tells him a really sad story about his son that passed away from a drug overdose he starts getting you know sad and stuff and then they rip on him like the band the tony hinchcliffe band rips on him and then that's what causes him to leave in the end so we're gonna skip to that oh my god this is so <laughs> Boring. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> Rick Flair, can you please tell us a story? <laughs> the little, uh, Santa coat? Is it a minute? If you could do that. You oh. are here with Rick Flair. You are yeah. a wrestling coach. Uh, how does it feel to uh, have a performance like that in front of Rick Flair? Fuck. <laughs> no, yeah. hey. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I respect that very much. My son was a great amateur wrestler, and um, this is why I, I'm going to make this. This is this is why. Come here, guys. Guys, guys, brace yourselves here because this is where it starts to get a little, little sad, and then it gets a little, little funny. All right. This is why I'm leaving after I say this. No, come on. No, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no. He's he's had enough. He's had enough. I'm gonna leave after this. I'm done with this. <laughs> no, no. I have more he, It's like he you guys don't you guys think I'm that dumb that I don't notice you guys are making fun of me? It's like I already told you guys don't make fun of me and don't make fun of other people. Perfect. And it's also very impossible too, because that's what the show is about. For people that take their time to support any youthful athletic event. My son was a great amateur wrestler. He died of a heroin overdose oh. in 2013. I don't, I don't hear that. I'm over that. But anybody that could take time away from their life to support kids and make them better because I can tell you right now from personal experience and because I believe in my heart. Yeah, okay, okay, here comes here comes the the sad piano, which obviously if I get I'm I'm sure it it will infuriate Rick. You know that they made this into like a, a bit. 
It's like Louis right there is in the back making. He's just having so much fun, dude. This this dude caused the whole thing to happen. The whole collapse. That's you ever had Asian You're pussy? Right. <laughs> Is that funny? What are the what are the ages of the uh, people that you're coaching, guy? Rick is like, I guess that's funny. That was funny, I guess. Me telling my sad story of my son who overdosed and um, okay, I'm guess I'm out of here. Uh, it's it's high school age, so ninth grade. Rick, don't leave. Are you really leaving, Rick? Don't do it. Oh no. Thank you for all the respect. We lost Rick Flair, everybody. I love you, Rick. Thanks for doing this. I'll see you afterwards. No, you're good. You're good. We love you. Make some noise for Ric Flair, everybody. Come on. Thank you all for all the respect. But I, I'm, I will never sign up to make fun of people that donate their time. I won't. Oh. I swear Look. to God, I respect you all, and thank you for coming out. I can have fun. But I will never make fun of time of people that donate their personal time to making <laughs> children better. Ric Flair, everybody. The legend, the nature boy. For Rick, for Rick, it was respect. It's like this man here, this this guy that put like put time and dedication to teach children about uh amateur wrestling and I'm trying to be respectful, but all you guys are not being respectful makes me want to leave the show is was like the, his main point of it right the the guy that was there for the and his actual name was guy as well so yeah he leaves because you they disrespect his son his story there was a lot of comedy bits there from mark norman and there was also some laughter from the guys from the back and obviously he that was the last straw that rick was gonna have and ultimately decided to walk away because you know he also warned all of them to chill out but how can you chill out on kill tony right you can't chill out on this kind of format the thing about this show is that you make fun of people tony's known for like roasting comedians roasting different kinds of acts Tony also acknowledged later on in the, in the end that he should have told Rick that that's what the show was about, like making fun of people. He acknowledges that that was his mistake in the end, too, because he didn't show Rick any videos prior to what the show is going to be about. So Rick just came in there like a like one of the three blind mice and just, I guess, just decided to just leave the show in the end, right? And how about one more time for Ric Flair, who is probably never coming back, never working with me, not answering my text messages ever again. We had one good day yesterday. We got drunk. I, maybe I should have told him a little bit more about the show. And uh, I guess that one's on me. Guys, check out the Sunset Strip con so that was it guys uh give this a like and subscribe uh, let me know what you guys think about this i don't know too much about rick flair or how he felt that day maybe he just wasn't in that you know in that mood to make fun of people and <laughs> and then them heckling him and then making fun of him uh behind his back also made him feel a certain way but also you're at a comedy show right so you know that 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 sort of thing comes with the territory there uh, so i'll see you guys next time for another video goodbye Thank <laughs> you.